Hello, Sushant. I'm Harshita Ain, a team member of FindMyTest.com. We are glad that you joined us. I would like to congratulate you on securing AIR4 in GATE 2023. Would you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, uh, Harshita. Thank you for inviting me uh, to this interview. I'm, I'm very happy to share my experiences over here. So I'll introduce myself. I'm Sushant. I'm currently pursuing my master's in remote sensing, MTech in remote sensing at IIT Bombay. I given uh, get uh, geometrics in 2023 and I have secured AR4 rank. Uh, First of so all, my you... score, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, please, please continue. Yeah, so my score was around 901 and the marks were around 57.69 around 57.67. And the score was 901. First of all, congratulations on achieving such an amazing rank. Um, thank you, thank you. It's, it's really yeah. achievable. Um, where have you done your graduation from? So I did my graduation, I completed my graduation in 2021 from Gayatri Vidya Parshat College of Engineering in Vishakhapatnam. Then, uh, then I joined here at IIT Bombay for, for my MTech. And now I'm right currently pursuing my uh, MTech in remote sensing. Okay. Uh, in which field did you complete your B.Tech? So I did my uh, B.Tech in civil engineering. All right. How many mm -hmm. times have you uh, attempted GATE? So writing GATE is my second time. First time I've written in 2021 in civil engineering and GATE. And now this year I'm writing, this year I've written uh, geometrics in 2020. This is my second time. What was your previous score and what is your current score? So, yeah. In first time, I got 683. My score was 683. And my rank was 1528. 1528. Why did you choose? Okay. Why did you choose geomatics this time? Like you, as you said earlier, you're, uh, you're coming from a civil engineering background. Mm -hmm. What made you switch into this? So geomatics is that First thing, uh, to be frank, I have interest in this field. Like I did uh, multiple courses, elective courses in my graduation and also I wanted to be in this field. Like I chose remote sensing here. There are a few IITs only where they are this remote sensing and geometric specialization. When uh, this paper was recently uh, very newly introduced in only 2022. So this is the second time. And when they introduced this paper, uh, GATE, GATE is like a standard examination and your score shows your academic or your knowledge in that field. So uh, proving myself also, I'm coming from this background. Uh, I need to set a standard. Okay, this is where I am in my uh, field or I wanted to continue in this field. And also other, other uh, good thing about geometrics is that it is a uh, booming field. Uh, like the entire geospatial, even everything uh, I've been like are developing are in the stage of developing very quickly and are, there are many startups also like many space startups if someone wants to do a job in this field there are space startups which are ac actually uh, you know acquiring and uh, recruiting these students from remote sensing and this gs back backgrounds like they have their applications and all so seeing this uh, in the foresight and all i felt that uh, establishing my standard in this uh, field and also also seeing it in a, as a uh, further perspective like five years down the line this shows your capability like maybe in a job perspective and all the opportunities geometrics offer is like in a is, a is of a wide range so having this all these benefits and all i thought uh i'll write geometrics uh this time and i'll see where i could stand in this amazing that's mm. that's a really good call that you took so yeah. since you said it's newly introduced uh a mm. new subject in gate uh, can you give some more insights about this? Like, what are the future scope? Definitely. So, geometrics is like uh, it's the entire field of uh, actually geometrics started off is a small started off a small part in civil engineering, the surveying, the basic surveying part. So, from the surveying, uh, it's just only not only surveying. Surveying is uh, introduced into multiple forms like aerial photogrammetry, photo seeing from drones, and all. It it has it has reached to satellite level also like. It's satellite remote sensing. So all these fields come into the uh, hood of geometrics. And this paper, when they introduced geometrics, they've introduced in like uh, the, you, this geometrics paper has a different pattern than the original general paper. General gate paper has like 15 marks of aptitude and then 85 marks is of the entire technical part. 
this is also a similar pattern, but the 85 marks is, is split into a different thing. Like uh, I can tell this as uh, the first part is like, uh, 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 wait, yeah. So the first part is the engineering mathematics and the general surveying all these parts and coming to the section two. There, there are in the part B, there are, this is part A and this is part, and there is part B. In part B, there are two different uh, sections. One is of surveying, mapping, surveying and mapping. And the second section is image processing. So there are two sections out of which uh, you can attempt any one of the section during the exam. You cannot switch. Uh, you can choose only one thing. Like both of them question papers will be visible to you. You can choose any of them, which is comfortable for you. During my preparation, I choose only one and prepared for only one section. You can prepare for both and you can choose, like if you know both of them, you can choose which is easy or which you feel you can you can score more, you can switch. This also has that, uh, you know, has that flexibility to choose between two sections. You can prepare for two different parts and like you can choose any of them during this. So the you can download the uh, syllabus and this thing from the website, but to, to, be, uh, to be concise and all, there are two sections like part part A, part B. Part A is of engineering mathematics and the general remote sensing, GIS and GNSS, all the general technologies. And then comes the specialized technologies in which, which is in part B. Part B is also section one and section two. Out of which section one is like surveying and map uh, mapping um, and all the photogrammetry, mapping and photogrammetry. Whereas the section two is like image processing. Yeah, this is about the different pattern. Also the engineering mathematics here in geometrics is a little bit different from the usual thing. In usual engineering mathematics, you have a lot of uh, uh, partial differential equations, probability, statistics, and uh, probability, and also the uh, calculus and all. Whereas in geometrics, it is very specific. Like the mathematics used is more of statistics, which is beneficial. Like there are the mathematics that you'll be using in real time, the in real time working, when you work in geometrics field, that are the, techniques or the problems you face them on a daily basis. Like it is more related. So the geometrics paper is more like focused only towards this field, including from the engineering maths to the, all the sections, it's more focused only towards this field. Yeah. It has also, but it also it has the same 15 marks aptitude, which is common for all the papers. The aptitude part is same, but the remaining 85 marks is divided into a different way. All right. Hmm. That was quite, uh elaborative and mm -hmm. it's, it's informative also. Okay. Yeah. So since you appeared geomatics this time, what was the mm -hmm. level of difficulty? You must have practiced previous papers also since you, so, it's, yeah. it's in 2022. Mm -hmm. So what was the difficulty? So there was only one previous paper. There was only one previous paper and one model paper because this was the second paper. Okay. I, uh, before applying for GATE also, I just saw this paper, GATE geomatics. And then I was like, I, I was able to solve a lot of them very easily. Coming from the same background, a lot of them were very easy. And uh, so I saw that and I was like, okay, why not we attempt this time? Hmm. And I was preparing, keeping that in mind that this would be of an easy standard. And I was just uh, preparing normally, but this time paper was tough. <laughs> so it was tough. The, I scored 57 out of 57.6 out of 100, which is not a uh, high mark usually for a uh, top 10 rank, like usually we expect. Whenever you say top 10, you expect a high mark and all. So this time paper was tough and usually this is a relative grading thing. So the ones with higher score, they obviously came up uh, who are written in the exam. Yeah. <laughs> so this year paper was tough, but they concentrated more on the uh, GNSS and the geodetic part of the geometrics. They concentrated more and other questions, whichever they asked in other field is like, it was moderate to tough. Yeah, we can say moderate to tough. Hmm. Nice. So uh, guys, if you're preparing for GATE and other competitive exams and you want to make a proper guidance, then our online mock test series, video lectures and study material for a better preparation are available for free. Register yourself at findmytest.com. So um, you must be preparing since uh, what, two years now? <laughs> Which books did you refer? Oh well, no, this, this was like, so, uh, yeah, I was just like, uh, last one year, like you may can take it as like from August, the date of application. Once I started applied for GATE, then I started preparation. Uh, this question, I'll answer it in a general way because I shouldn't answer this, uh, coming from the same background, writing this was better, a bit easy for me. 
like doing masters in this background and writing exam was a bit easy but i'll try to answer it in general like what could be the preparation and all so for this my initial strategy for preparation was uh, if if i come like from if I, if i come from a zero background what i'll think is that i'll start preparing with all the nptel lectures so syllabus even i use the strategy for gate uh, my 2021 also i'll try it in a i'll keep it in a general way so re referring to the syllabus is the main thing like do not go out of syllabus first thing usually uh, when whenever things when we start preparing we think more and we'll try to go we we'll, we try to cover all the possible concepts so instead of that sticking on to the syllabus is also a main thing and all this syllabus is like there are lot of nptel courses uh, related to the exact syllabus like gn uh, geodetics the geomatics thing there are uh, nptel courses directly related to that so first i would suggest to complete all the nptel courses like if you are preparing from like 6 or 8 months earlier try to complete all the geo uh, questions all the nptel courses like nptel courses are also available as uh, moocs the online courses where you have the assignments also i also prepared this time there was a lack of uh, previous question papers like this is only 2 years so to have a better preparation what i did is that see all the questions are also prepared by professors of iit the nptel assignments and all so i thought why not let's prepare that that really helped me also the questions of the assignments from the nptel uh, courses they were they were the foundation for me so think building upon that i i was able to attempt the gate pep uh, questions easily so completing the nptel courses and there are a few textbooks like uh, for surveying usually the standard books like the the bc punmia that is a general standard book for civil engineering in uh, the bc punmia and also some foreign authors like um, uh, uh, you know gibran i just don't, don't not remembering his name i can share that in a list maybe uh, yes, i also have a uh, list <laughs> so i'll 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 surely add that so he, he, yeah, his name is gilani charles de gilani there is a textbook called surveying charles de gilani gilani and then the standard indian textbook is that um, bc punmia so these are the books i referred for surveying and also for remote sensing uh, i uh, uh, the main book i referred was that joseph and jagannathan joseph and jagannathan fundamentals of remote sensing and also the jensen jensen remote sensing of environment these are the two main books uh, for remote sensing uh, for gis there is this called cp low cp low cp low gis uh, concepts and techniques of gis systems that was the book name uh, it's a big list so what i'll try to do is that i can share a list so that uh, list of textbooks to refer so that apart so the also preparing textbooks how it should be is that textbook should aid for additional topics like you are you will be covering all the things in nptel uh, then you will be writing your notes you will be making your uh, long notes for all the concepts the textbook should add on few concepts you should textbook has a lot more concepts you shouldn't go into all those uh, and all going there and it will actually take up a lot of con uh, time consumption and when you are preparing on your own or some if you are assisting using someone the thing is that if you go more into that uh, assistance for for the doubts some might be li little more difficult or something uh, the few if you are stuck at some concept you'll be stuck there like if you don't have any help if you are having help then you can refer to textbook but still what i would suggest is that try to stick up to the only syllabus part there is lot more for geometrics outside syllabus also so uh, pre uh, you are seeing that syllabus and uh, ensuring line by line of the syllabus and also uh, each and every word like each and every topic covering them from nptel lectures uh, making your own notes and also referring textbooks this would be a uh, you know very uh, complete package for um, preparing for gate geometrics and also obviously said to, uh, for practicing questions and all previous question papers the few question papers and the model paper which is available uh, and the assignment questions of nptel lectures nptel moocs the envoces nptel online courses the assignment questions they can be used for a practice it's a very good one hmm. okay hmm. so uh, you said there are you said you have to refer textbook only for the like it 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 has a lot uh, lot of topics like the topics are explained mm -hmm. vastly so mm -hmm. how would you uh, suggest your uh, okay. just two minutes i'll cut it out yeah yeah
Your video is stuck. Your video is stuck actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Now is it fine? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's fine now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I was asking that um, you said the syllabus is very vast. So um, in case two seconds. Fine. Fine. Hmm. So you said the syllabus is very vast. So any aspirant mm -hmm. that uh, wants to join uh, or wants to prepare in the last moment, what are the some uh, what are some important topics that he or she has to focus upon? So important topics is that the you know the section wise part. If someone usually what I can understand is that if people who are writing geometrics, they'll be definitely from only these two backgrounds. May the majority from either civil engineering background. Or uh, you know, geometrics background. There is a BTEC in geometrics also. Few universities offer that. So the geometrics they do their graduation also in that. For those people, it would be also very easy because it's like they're doing it all all over the graduation. So they exactly know uh, where to prepare. So uh, so one thing is that the main the second part I'm telling there are two parts, right? The two parts in the section two. Earlier I was mentioning in the pattern. So there the surveying, photogrammetry, and this. Mapping. These are usually the basic topics in civil engineering also. Like these are not some specialized topics. So if someone wants to prepare, uh, they can start from these topics. They can revise their own topics because they definitely did this in their graduation. They can brush up these topics and they can they, then they can shift on to the main topics like uh, the remote sen uh, remote sensing. All of them are uh, you know quite equally important. So what I would suggest is that the second section, it would be better to focus more on the second section because it can be done for a last minute for like last moment preparation and all it would be easy to uh, quickly revise these three the surveying um, su surveying as in uh, for land surveying then the for photogrammetry then comes this mapping the mapping yeah these three are the topics in the in the other one okay. mm -hmm. what was your revision strategy when did you start preparing and what mm -hmm. time table did you use to follow so for me, uh, preparing for gate is like, I, I was preparing, um, mostly on weekend basis. Okay. It was only all weekends and some of the weekends were lost also like some other, I had to go home and a lot of stuff. So my preparation was like, uh, very much, uh, distorted. it was in phases, phases, it, like multiple parts. So I will not tell about my preparation. Okay, just I'll, a minute. I'll just uh, tell about. Yeah, yeah. The video was lagging. I'll I'll re-record it. Wait. Yes. So, what was your revision strategy? Uh, how did you plan on your timetable? When did you start preparing? Mm -hmm. So my preparation was around like uh, after the after I uh, registered for gate. It was around September or August ending. So, like preparing on every weekend. So every weekend I used to give out full time and I used to start making notes like wherever things are missing, like what coming. So why I, even though I was only preparing on weekends, that was really helpful because coming from the same geometrics background, doing my masters in that, that was really a lot helpful for me in this preparation. So I had those notes and like whatever gaps were missing and revising all these things. So every weekend I was typically doing the revision and I had notes already and uh, I was revising from that. Uh, and every weekend I was trying to solve, like if I did one topic, I used to solve questions on that. Then the things like after two, 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 three weeks, I used to just revise back only the concepts. Like it was cumulative revision. First, I come, if there are, suppose there are 10 topics, I did one first topic, second topic, third topic. After third topic, I used to revise one plus two plus three. Then I used to start next week is like fourth topic. Then after fourth topic, fifth topic, sixth topic, cumulative revision, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the revision was getting cumulated and the starting things, whatever I was preparing that, that I used to get on very, uh, very strong. So for anyone who is starting out, what I would like to say is that start with your, uh, with your confidence, which, whichever subject or whichever topic you feel you very confident, start with the same thing because exam is always in such a way that if you're confident only, then you, whatever topics you're confident, those will be performing very well in the exam also. So start with your content and let me also give 
uh, not my weekend strategy, but also a long eight month strategy for if anyone wants to start preparing. Let's suppose you are having an eight months, eight months you are preparing and not eight months or six months. Whenever you are planning, you are having an amount uh, sometime. 50% is only for your notes and all. So don't extend it more than 50 or don't re reduce it less than 50. Try to have entire notes, like whatever all the topics are there. Try to prepare your own long notes, including covering all the points and all. Try to make it like 50% of the time. If it's eight months, four months for this. If it is six months, three months for this. 50% of the time, don't extend more than this. Because if you start extending it more than that, your revision and the final practice would be hampered. So what you can try to do is that 50% of time only for uh, preparing notes. And also when you're preparing notes, sometimes like weekends, you have to give like revising the first concepts because it will be like you revise it, doing it three or four months back. Suddenly after four months, you can't remember anything. So try how to try to revise during the four months also. Just keep revising things, keep revising things and also making your own notes. Like once four months are done, don't start any new topic. Just keep only revising. And while you are revising, make your own short notes. Make your own short notes, uh, covering all the important points. So revision plus short notes. This will go like uh, one to one and a half months. And simultaneously, you'll start writing paper. Uh, you'll start writing mock tests. Uh, the maybe you know subject tests and also uh, subject tests. Uh, then you know um, and long full length tests. All these tests you can start writing after the two and like. Uh, 50, 50% 50 of time is done and then one and a half month is like, you know, some 30% of time, like last 20% of time, like last 30%, like one seventy percent of your time is done. But the last 30%, you have to start writing your tests. In the last 30% of time, you will be uh, having this test plus revision. So 50, 20, 30, 50 only notes, prepare your long notes. And then for the 20, you have your short notes plus revision. Last 30, revision plus tests. You, your short notes would be ready. So you will be preparing only with the short notes and also sometimes the long notes. So this is revision plus test, uh, short notes plus revision, revision plus no, long notes. So revision is always common in all the time. So this is one every should, everyone should follow. Whenever someone thinks revision, it's only in the last, but revision is not in the last. Revision is only for remembering things and you should, how well you recollect. The, re, the reason, the target of revision is only to remember and recollect. So remembering and recollecting things will happen only when you do it from the right from the start. So right from the start, I followed the strategy both for gate civil engineering and also for geometrics engineering. So for anyone who is preparing, I suggest that you have to start this revision right from the day one. You prepare something one week later, you revise whatever you did in the one week. That's how you'll remember things for a long time. Once you did it revise, revise in first one week, maybe you say you felt like one hour. Then after some time, it, it does not take much time because you're remembering, you're revising revising and re revising it doesn't take much time to recollect things so in the exam you can you'll be very able to quickly recollect so revision from the day one is very important and i followed that i i was revising things right from day one day one as in once you started preparation like one week down the line you can start revising yeah all right mm. so um do you have any suggestions for other gate geomatic aspirants so yeah for gate geomatic aspirants I say, uh, I would want to invite more civil engineering students also to write this paper because this is an emerging field and uh, like sometimes the recruitments, usually geometrics is a wing of, you know, uh, there are projects going on in DRDO, ISRO. So in future, uh, two to three years down the line or maybe uh, this year or any time, recruitment like how things can happen for the PSUs also you can uh, go into scientist course like ISRO, DRDO. There are very good career options. I'm saying about the opportunities and suggestions for uh, geometrics aspirants is what I can tell is that um, it seems like a lot easier but once you start preparation uh, you have to you understand the depths of it. So don't take this paper as like Array, uh, we can do it very easily and uh, give it as time uh, give it some good time like before uh, minimum like five to six months earlier start preparing it full time uh, whenever you see whenever from a person from civil engineering background when he says like Harry, this is just surveying he thinks that this is surveying or from a person from geometrics this is all what we did in our bachelors usually everyone feels the same even in, in my civil engineering also i feel this is all in bachelors but once you start preparing only and you, you start seeing the questions you understand its depth 
so don't uh, try to see this easy thing and give less time and maybe then feel bad right i i just gave less time i could have i should have given more time so i'd like to say start early and prepare all these things whatever that preparation you do from early and that will really help you uh, keep st stick on to the syllabus don't go into more additional things and all not necessary ones stick on to the syllabus start early be an early bird and yeah you can ace this exam that was an amazing uh, suggestion so mm -hmm. thank you very much shashank for your valuable time and answering yeah. your and answering the questions mm -hmm. so guys if you are confused or you want to know something more about gate and other competitive exams then feel free to contact us on our whatsapp support number which is 9509939058 thank you very much for watching this video have a good day